It's your boy Wally, aka your favorite bad guy. I'm here with Big Bang TV. We're about to lock in this interview. Oh, Wally, oh, Wally. Uh, yo, what's good? What's poppin'? My guy. What's the welcome, word, welcome. man? What's good? Glad you pulled out. Long time. I'm supposed to been through this, but we're yeah, gonna knock right. it out right now. How's everything, man? Everything good. Yeah, New Year good? Yeah. Everything good? Everything Everything positive? Good. Everything healthy. Yeah? Copy. Uh, so first and foremost, I see the chain. Bad guys. Bad guys! How, mm. Tell us how y'all came up with bad guys. Tell us where that came from. Bad guys? Um, That actually originated with me and Bad Guy Chopper. We was in DR. And um, we was working on music over there. We did a track. And then um, he was like, yo, we should do a group. And, you know. So then one day we freestyling and we was first we was originally gonna be called Rich Boys. Instead of Rich Boys, we was freestyling one day and he, he said bad guys and he paused this track and he was like, We should just be bad guys, mm -hmm. not rich boys and bad guys sounded way better. Yeah. And that's how that happened. Then when we got back from DR, Jack and Bad Guys and then everybody just picked it up, no questions asked. Everybody bad guy, bad guy, bad guy. And y'all always had the mask that was always there or well, we only did one logo, and the logo had the mask, and it, it, it was perfect. Hit the first time? Yeah, it hit the first time. Fuck it. Yeah. And uh, so y'all been rapping then, before y'all even came out with the bad guys? Yeah, Chapo been rapping for for a while. Mm -hmm. I don't remember when, but I know he was he was already rapping when I met him. Uh -huh. And I probably started rapping around 2012. Yeah? Yeah. That's what's up. And uh, like, who got you into rapping? You just started on your own, or...? Um, I was always a fan of music. Mm -hmm. I'm still a fan. I'm a fan first. Mm -hmm. I'm a, a fan of music, and um, I actually started with Bad Guy Stacks. That was the first person I ever rapped with. Um, we used to just get smacked mm -hmm. and um, put on beats, and we would just rap. Um, we would, it was more battle rapping. Like we would diss each other in the beginning, mm -hmm. and then we started doing like songs. Yeah. yeah. That's what's up. That's what's yeah. up. Speaking of songs. Y'all just dropped that Wacoma. That's a fact. I just woke up from a Wacoma. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that shit going crazy right now. Yeah, that shit's big for, for Middletown. Yeah. The whole 845, but mainly Middletown, that shit's... Yeah, and who we had on it? We had Stack. We had Stacks. Um, yeah, Anso. We had Leek, Anso, um, Frankie Pacino. P, Pacino, and your favorite bad guy. That's a fact, and Wally. <laughs> yeah. All right, so how'd that, how'd that track come about, like... Um, Stack Me's. We started on one day, we went to the studio, he had a session, he knocked it out. We had like an hour left and we were just playing beats and that beat had came up and we were freestyling to it, but we was like doing it on the mic. Ended up doing, um, it was like three people on it at the time. And then I was like, yo, I think we could get a few more people from the town mm -hmm. and we could do something for the town. And we recorded it at Big Bang Studio. So we kept it, everything in house. Yeah. I, Sean shot it, Middletown. Everybody on the track from Middletown, we kept it real Middletown. Yeah, that's like some leadership shit right there. Putting everybody in an opportunity to win, you know? Quarterback and shit. <clears throat> and the video is hard. Yeah, the video is fire. Yeah. Shout out to I Sean for that shit. He body that well, shit. Any favorite parts in the video? My shit. Your shit? Nah, <laughs> nah right. the whole video was fire. The, the whole shit was fire. The whole shit was fire. Yeah, that's a fact. But that's not, that's not, uh, that's not the first, that's not the first time that y'all gonna be, um, making, making stuff, right? Y'all gonna be... Oh yeah, yeah. That was just like a, like somebody said that everybody's part was so short. It was like a trailer, mm -hmm. and then it's like it kind of is. So it's like look forward to seeing different people collaborating with mm -hmm. them amongst each other. Cause I don't think nobody on that song really had a song together. Yeah. And everybody been rapping and doing their thing. Mm -hmm. So it's like that's the first time everybody on in that caliber did music together. So we are gonna keep it keep it like that. Keep yeah. it doing doing shit. And y'all dropped it on the SI Music Channel. Yeah. SI, that's uh, that's Frankie P shit. Yeah. Yeah. If it ain't splash, it's trash. <laughs> that's a fact, right? Uh so I mean, I wanted to definitely ask you about the Duce record. Yeah. Cause that shit was buzzing, OD. Yeah. Would you say that was probably your first like? Said Duce. Deuce, 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 Deuce. That's that was the first record that um, kind of put you in position uh to really lock in and be like, yo, this is what I want to do. Or you had you had. Nah, I already wanted to do music, but I was really half-assing music. Mm -hmm. And um, the Deuce record was the first record that gave me like the exposure that I wanted. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, shit really went from zero to a hundred mm -hmm. in one day. Overnight? Yeah, it wasn't an overnight thing. It's like, 
what they say, like they be like, oh, overnight success is huh. like a hundred hours of work, and that's what that was. Like yeah. we was working, and then when that we got the opportunity, it just it went crazy. Yeah. And uh, I mean, the part I like is like when you first made the track. I think I seen you like a couple of days after when you flew back, cause you was out where you was in Miami at the time, right? I was in Tampa. So oh, you was in Tampa, right? Yeah. So the the record how how that one came along was um. I had flew out to Tampa. It was right before my birthday. Mm -hmm. And Chapo linked up with a producer, Nitro. Shout out to Nitro. Shout out to AVS Studios. That's my home studio when I'm out there. Um, so we, we, I met up with Nitro. He was already working with Chapo. They had chemistry and his, his beats is like different. Like they like Caribbean, mm -hmm. some shit. They, he got some shit. Um, so I, I linked up with him. We started doing stuff. We did the um, Almighty Dykeman record. I remember you was in um, Tampa, right? And then a couple of days after you got back, you came, pulled up, showed me the track. And I know you was telling me that, like, yo, this shit gonna move. That's uh, a fact. Showed me the track. I was feeling it. But, like, um, how'd you guys get it to that point where uh, you made the track and then got it to the point where you had so much faith that it was gonna, it was gonna move? Like, Okay, so when, when the track was 100% done, mm -hmm. we started playing it. And in the studio, I, I, I already felt it. Like, I knew it was a hit. Mm -hmm. I knew it was gonna go crazy. Um, as soon as I got back to New York, I hit up a producer, I mean a producer, I hit up a, a promoter, my mm -hmm. shout out my boy Fabio, and um, I sent him the record, because he was already helping me get in a record played mm -hmm. in, in Dykeman. So I came, I, I got here, and I was like, yo, bro, I got a record, I got one for the summer. Mm -hmm. I sent it to him, when I sent it to him, I played the song. So as I'm, the song is playing, as soon as it finished, he calls me right back. And then when I'm about to answer the phone, he texted me like a whole bunch of fire emojis. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, what's up? He was like, yo, bro, this is it. Mm -hmm. Like, this is a song right here. Um, Do you mind if I send it to a few DJs? Mm -hmm. I'm like, nah, do your thing. That same night, it got played in the club. Yeah? Yeah, and then like, for 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 weeks straight, everywhere he was at, he got the song played in the club. Mm -hmm. And then <clears throat> after that, we started doing like the Instagram stuff. Um. I had like a whole bunch of um, influencers, like comedians. Yeah. They were doing skits to it. It was the skits was going crazy. Mm. I was putting the skits on World Latin Star. It was going crazy there. I had Shy Almighty. Shy Almighty at the time was like he started a lot of shit that niggas is doing now or was doing. And but, that was during that was when uh, that was when like the coronavirus first kicked off. Nah, Corona didn't even exist yet. Really? Yeah, this was way before Corona. Oh, but I thought, th I thought that Not was... Not way right. before, but like probably like a year before Corona. Oh, that does? Yeah. All right, so now your shit is um, going crazy in Dykeman. And then tell us how um, Cardi B came into the picture, because I know as soon as she started bumping this shit, that's when everybody started like going crazy, right? Yeah. So when the Cardi B shit happened, I was doing something. I had put my phone down. I got my phone on silent. It's been on silent for like five years. So I always check my phone occasionally. Mm. So I know I was watching um, Boys in the Hood. And when the commercial came on, I looked at my phone. Mm. And I had like probably like 15 to 20, maybe 25 missed calls. Uh -huh. and, then, and I didn't look at my phone for like probably like 10, 10 15 minutes. Mm. So the first thing that came to my head, somebody died. Yeah. So I'm like, fuck. <clears throat> so now I don't call nobody back. I'm just trying to put it together. Like, But it's people calling me from all over. People from upstate, people from Florida. People from New York, people from the Bronx, people from upstate. So I'm like, who's the mutual person that all these people know mm -hmm. besides me? So now my camera, one of my cameramen had called me. He was like, yo, bro, Cardi B just shouted out your song. Mm -hmm. So I put the phone on speaker. I go on Instagram. I, I go to her page. I don't see nothing. I go to her story. I don't see nothing. I'm like, yo, bro, I don't see nothing. So he went to her page and he was like, yo, she took it down. Mm -hmm. So I was like, what do you mean she shouted on my page? He was like, I'm going to try to find a video. And that same time, Chapo calls me. Chapo's like, yo, bro, Cardi B shouted out our song. I got it. Like, so I'm like, well, what is it? He was like, she's asking for the song. She's asking for the song. Yo, Dominicans, what's that song that be like, doos, doos, ah, doos, 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 hey, you like that? Cause you like that? Anyways, what is that? what's that song name? I need it. I'm trying to jam to it. I be hearing it when I be going to Dykeman and to Washington Heights. Uh, yeah, I be playing that shit in the car. What song, what's the name of the song, Malditos? So I'm like, um, he's like, I got it on my phone. I just don't know how to screen record. So I'm trying to explain him how to screen record so he could send it to me. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't know. But at the same time, the cameraman texts me the video of her shouting me out. So I saw it. I put it on my page immediately. I had everybody tag her. Um, two days later, she was getting ready for the Grammys. So when she had asked for the song, 
she was like, yo, there's a song that's been going crazy. It's like deuce, deuce, whatever. She said it like that. The day of the Grammys, she's just getting her, doing her makeup, getting her hair did. She's talking her shit. And then she randomly goes, deuce, 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 deuce. <laughs> So I was like, oh, she found the record. Mm -hmm. So I'm in her fucking live writing on Mighty Dykeman. Everybody's in there. I sent all my friends in there. Everybody's writing on Mighty Dykeman. Mm -hmm. The crazy shit about this shit, mm -hmm. when we made the record, when it was done, I told Chapo, I was like, yo, I can hear Cardi on this shit. Mm -hmm. And then when I got back to New York, uh, like I let my friends hear it. And I told them, I told a lot of them, like, yo, I could hear Cardi on this shit. And then when she did that, they called me back like, yo, bro, you spoke that into existence. But, um, so then two, so she did that. So I was like, damn, she already did enough. Mm -hmm. So in my head, I was like, yo, if she could shout the song out, cause she never tagged us. She never put our, her, our name or nothing. So I was like, yo, if she could do like a, a video of like her kid dancing to the song, like mm -hmm. culture dancing to the song, mm -hmm. um, or her just like singing the song or, um, or her twerking to it because I had a twerking contest at the time. Mm -hmm. I was like, it'll be lit. So everything happened consistently. It was one day she did the um, she asked for the video. Mm -hmm. I think a day or two later, she was at the Grammys. The next day, I'm driving home. Um, I get home. I put my phone on the charger. Mm -hmm. Somebody sends me a video of her twerking to the to the song. And then after that, that's when it was like everything was lit. Yeah. Everything went up from there. And how did um like how did Hot 97 get in touch with you? Like how did, how did that go down? Hot 97. Hot 97. Yeah, um, you, know, you, you put up a Hot 97. Yeah. So after the Cardi B shit, like shit really went crazy. That um El, El Alfa hit me up. Mm. Um, one of my boys, Shuggy, had hit me up. And he was like, um, he had a boy named Mex, and he could get us into the into Hot 97 with all the DJs. And it was like, we basically introduced the song to them. They asked about the Cardi B stuff, and we performed the song for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then they started, that's when they took the song and they started playing it from there? Did they? Yeah, they played it like a, I, no, they actually, they played, they, there, they, they played the song before I even went to Hot 97. Mm -hmm. They played the song on, on Hot 97. Shout out to DJ Stacks. He was one of the first people to play it on the radio. Uh, so after, um, at what point did you start getting linked up with Rancho Hinode? Rancho Mille, they had, Jimmy had hit me up and he was like, yo, um, I fuck with y'all song. I want to fuck with y'all on the West Side. Mm -hmm. So we had flew out to LA. We had a few meetings with him. We had a few meetings with a couple other labels also, mm -hmm. but he was the one that was like, I felt more comfortable mm -hmm. dealing with him because he was like, he reminded me of me, mm -hmm. you know, like he was like, hood nigga not a hood nigga but you know he came from the bottom came up like he wasn't a, a corporate person he was yeah. more like relatable so I related to him mm -hmm. and he was talking good so that's how Rancho Mila came along and uh as far as like the video did they help you out with the video or was that something you put together now the deuce video that was dumb that was dumb? they put it together they had like three he, he got he got three of his best um cameramen directors mm -hmm. to, to shoot it he yeah. had Lalo Omar and graphics. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that shit was fire when it came out. Yeah, that, that shit, shit jumped a, quick, right? That shit was a movie, yeah. yeah. Nah, congrats on that, too. Good luck, man. And then, I know a lot of shit been coming since then. Y'all had a couple other videos on Rancho on Mail Day. I know you, you got still more shit coming. Yeah, that's a fact. Um, I know you dropped the album. I don't know, was that an album or was that a mixtape? Uh, uh, I'll, I'll consider it, grind. I'll consider it like an EP. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Rise and Ground. Yeah. What was your favorite song on that album? EP. Ugh, I like a lot of songs on it. It's like, 
different songs for different moods. Mm -hmm. I like vibes. I like my lifestyle. Like my lifestyle. I like loads. Mm -hmm. I like Punto Cuarenta, Money Machine, Spaceship, The Spy. I like all. I honestly like all because I had a whole bunch of songs. So I picked the ones that I like the most and put them on the tape. And it's just like different vibes for different songs. And what, were the, what do you think? What song got the best response? Besides, of course. Besides Deuce. Yeah. Um, Punto Cuarenta, Loaded Guns, Lifestyle, like those are the ones people talk to me a lot about. And the features that you were, um, they were all people on the West Coast. Um, you met them. Well, on the tape or on, on the some of the features in the videos. For for point forty, point forty, uh, point forty, yeah, point forty. Yeah, yeah. I I did that out in L. A. And everybody on there was from L. A. Mm -hmm. Except me and Chapo. That's far. Yeah. Then I got Trap Baby on it. He's from Phoenix. I had Skino on it. He from the Bronx. Uh, Jazzy, she from the Bronx. Mm -hmm. Um. So what's the what's the funniest shit that you seen in the club? The funny. Oh my God, bro. A uh, uh, bitch took a shit in the club, bro. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know. I was with a few of my friends, mm -hmm. and um, Peach, Peachy, bad guy Peach was like, yo, we out of here, bro. Some bitches took a shit. And I was really? like, what? He was like, yo, you don't smell it? I'm like, nah. We get out. He was like, yo, bro, she kind of took a shit kind of close to us. Uh -huh. And then Shorty was already outside, and her man was trying to put water on her to clean the shit off her legs. Yeah. yeah. I'm surprised she didn't go viral. Like, nobody got a video of her taking a shit in the club. But there's videos of shit in the club. Like, she took... A mean shit in the really? club, bro. It wasn't like no little shit. What, like she just like inside her pants or like? Nah, she was wearing a skirt. Yeah. So it went from her skirt down, hit her legs, oh my and God. she shit it in the club, bro. That's filthy. Nasty. You going back to that club anytime soon? I haven't been since. <laughs> <laughs> they but know about it? Of course they know, nigga. Yeah. Everybody got out that shit. They was on um, videos of the workers cleaning it up. Yeah. yeah, they know about it. Oh man. I wonder wow. if Shorty's ever gonna go back. Nah, she probably banned. I banned her. She her. probably banned from Dykeman, period. <laughs> What's her man think now? She, he think he's still with her? I mean, he was trying to help her. He was throwing water in the back of her leg. My man recorded her. He like, yo, don't record. <laughs> yeah. He probably still with her. He probably be violating her like shitty ass when they right. argue. <laughs> uh, so, um, I know at one point you also linked up with Joels. Oh, yeah. What was that like? It was dope. It was dope. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I was probably like starstruck, mm -hmm. cause I, I when I left, I was like, damn, I ain't talk to him mm -hmm. how I wanted to talk to him. Mm -hmm. I was like really letting him, I, like he was in control of the situation. Mm -hmm. But it was dope, man. It's like growing up, listening to him, seeing him, and then it's like seeing him. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying it was dope. You think you learned from that, being that um, in a situation like you can take more control in the future and stuff like that. Oh yeah, in, in that sense, yeah, definitely did. Yeah, and he was somebody that you looked up to growing up as far as the music end. Like, yeah. yeah. Dipset and shit? Yeah, Dipset was like, mm -hmm. Dipset and G-Unit is like a big part of, like I said, I'm a fan of music mm -hmm. before I'm an artist. Mm -hmm. So it was like, growing up, I, there was like the heavy hitters, G-Unit and Dipset. Mm -hmm. Right? New York, right? Yeah, that was real New York. And where'd you grow up? You grew up? In the Bronx. In the Bronx? Yeah. What part of the Bronx? Like the Fordham area, 196, 194. That's what's up. Yeah. And you be uh, you still talk to people out there? Of course, that's like a whole bunch of my friends live there. Mm -hmm. A lot of my family still lives out there, so I'm still, mm -hmm. you know, I still be over there. You shoot videos down there? I know you got yeah, a couple hell of videos. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Is that the part of the city that you shoot? Hell yeah. Yeah. Got to show where I came from, man. Yeah, that's a fact. Um, all right, so what's going on with the future? With your future of music, things like that, life. Um, I don't know. As far as music, we are gonna just keep dropping singles. <laughs> Keep dropping singles until one of them hit and take it to the moon. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's your plans for 2022? You got anything that you want to accomplish? Yeah, I want to knock out some videos. I want to knock out a, another EP, mm -hmm. possibly an album, but I want to push for an a album. Mm -hmm. um, more merch. I want to drop more merch. Um, and yeah, as 
far as the music, radio. Mm-hmm. Copy. Uh, so uh, what's your what's your favorite drip? Like, what do you like wearing and shit? So my favorite drip right now, I'm actually wearing one of my favorite shits. This is from my boy Sinatra. He based out of L.A. Mm-hmm. He got a lot of dope shit. He got, I got a lot of his shit. He got a lot of dope shit. And he be making his shit custom, like. Yeah, he make he really jump. he really make that shit from scratch. Like he mm-hmm. sews and puts shit together. Mm-hmm. Like look, he did this. This he shit sewed that. on. He this a whole like it's like two different mm-hmm. materials. Yeah, two different colors. Yeah, you got the. How'd you link up with him? Um, I think one day he just added me on Instagram, mm-hmm. and he liked a few of my shit. So I went to his page. And I just saw a whole bunch of clothes, and then had like a link to the website. Mm-hmm. So I um I saw the link. I'm not gonna lie, it was like pricey, like mm-hmm. it's like it's like high end stuff. Mm-hmm. So I was like, damn. So I DM him. I was like, yo, I fuck with your shit. He was like, yo, good looking. So then I I screenshotted him a whole bunch of stuff that I wanted. So he he gave me that, and when he sent me the package, he gave me extra stuff, mm-hmm. which was dope. And then he dropped like right after I bought something, he dropped a whole new like um season of clothes, and I was like, fuck. I like this shit too, and I went crazy, and I bought a whole bunch yeah. of shit, and then he, he blessed me again, and then it's like we started talking. He was like, "Yo, I see you into the music," mm-hmm. so now we got a like we got a dope bond, we got a relationship. Yeah. Does he ever do custom shit like the only you get? Yeah, this right here. I That's got this. Oh, I got okay. it in black. I got it in white. Mm-hmm. Um, like I always, he he like there's shit that I like, and if I be like, "Yo, could you do this to it?" He does it for me. Mm-hmm. That's fire, that's fire. Yeah. But you always get some custom shit. Yeah, know? one of ones. Yeah? Yeah. And he be, he charges you, of course, when you get the custom shit? Hell yeah. Yeah? But it's like, that's what he does, you know what uh-huh. I'm saying? I'm not gonna... You know, I appreciate when he gave me the extra stuff, but you know, that's his business, yeah. that's how he eats. So you gotta... You, I mean, like, in other words, if he hit you for a feature, you gotta... You gotta charge him for a feature? Or? Uh, he don't rap. He don't rap? But I probably wouldn't charge nah. him for a feature, nah. He's just gonna have to fly me out to, to shoot uh-huh. the vid. Yeah. How do you feel about free features? I do. I never. I honestly, I never charge nobody for a feature. Uh-huh. I just won't do the song if I don't like it. I gotta yeah. like the song. Yeah. So you know, if if it's something that you like, it's gonna benefit your career. You know what I'm saying? It's something you can. Um. Not necessarily. Not song. necessarily, cause it's, it'll probably be. Mm-hmm. Some I'll probably help them more than they help me, but it gotta be a good song. But the song could have potential to be something big. You know, do the right thing behind it. And um, you think we going to ever see uh, a Bad Guys album anytime soon? Um, I would love to. I would love to soon. Maybe, maybe we could push something for 2022, if not 2023. It's definitely possible. There's a whole bunch of us, mm-hmm. and we all do music, and we could knock it out. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. Vex is home. Yeah, Vex is home, man. Finally, about time. Yeah. Better stay home too, nigga. Yeah, right. Yeah. How's he doing right now? He doing good. He doing yeah. good. We went and picked him up. Picked him up, did a little. Yeah, ate good. The only thing my boy was missing was getting a haircut. He took like three days to get a cut, but. Yeah. We couldn't get the barber. We had everything else but the barber. Everything but the barber. Man, that shit was lit. And uh, I know that day too, you gave me a bad guy's hat. That's a fact. Still got that shit, got it in the studio. Yeah. And uh, want to talk about any other bad guy clothing you got going on? Or well, speaking of Sinatra, he helped me. Put my last season of the bad guys clothes. He helped me with that. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Like, um, I actually want to do like some Wakoma shit, mm-hmm. Wakoma hats or shirts or something for yeah, the new. Bar. But um, for bad guy stuff, yeah, you know we always do stuff winter and summer. That's like our main stuff. Mm-hmm. So the summer's coming up. Oh, and I learned the hard way. Whenever you do clothes, do it like six months. Um, for the next season So if it's the winter right now mm. Do shit for the summer If it's the summer Do shit for the winter yeah. Cause it, it takes a while If you're doing it overseas It takes a while to catch on And stuff yeah. like that So yeah. For people to start buying and shit Yeah I learned that the hard way mm-hmm. I did some Some basketball shorts and stuff mm. And they ended up coming Like The end of the summer August yeah. I got them And I started working on it In June mm-hmm. So, and the guy who uh, what's his name Sinatra Sinatra yeah he he's the one that made the clothes too you said that he helped you um, out um he made he helped me with the hats like made them but he really pointed me in the right direction with everything mm-hmm. else that's what's up and I know you be traveling and shit yeah you got any places you going to anytime soon anything in mind that you got um, any places you want to go Tampa and LA for sure yeah yeah what to work and shit or yeah, yeah to work yeah you in work mode right now Hell yeah. yeah. We in grind mode. Rise and grind, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's 
a fact. That's a fact. Let them know. Let them know uh, when the next time they're going to be seeing you. Whether it's a tape or, you know. Well, as far as the tape, I don't know if I'm going to do a tape. I was, I have music to do a tape, but I feel like I want to just keep doing singles. Singles with videos. Singles with videos. Mm -hmm. So you're definitely going to see a lot of that going on. Every month we're going to drop something. Mm -hmm. But that's what's up. All right, bro. Appreciate you stopping by. You're ready. You know what I'm saying? Bad guys. What's your Instagram? What's your Instagram? Bad guy Wally. Everything bad guy Wally. Yeah? Yeah. All right, bad. We're going to see you again, bro. Appreciate you stopping by. Holla. Bad guy.